Templates are used to create Excel tables that will map data between Excel and Salesforce. To create a new template, click on the plus sign, and this will give you a list of all the objects in your Salesforce instance. So in this case, I wanna work with the account object. So I'll start typing in account, and it gives me a list of all the objects with the word account in them. Next, I wanna choose the fields that I wanna see in my table. In this case, I wanna see the account name, so I'll just check it. Again, I can use type ahead, just type description, and I'll see all of the fields that have the word description in them. I'll choose account description, and then let's drag in the account phone number. I also wanna bring in some child fields. So in order to do that, I'm gonna start typing contacts. And here, you'll see that there's a colon. The colon indicates that this is a child record. So I wanna bring in the contacts, first name, and last name. I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. And now I'm gonna give my template a name accounts and contacts, and I'll go ahead and click on save. Now, if I wanna make any changes, I can come up to the template name and click on the pencil icon. And here I can add new fields. So perhaps I want to add a contact, I forgot to add the contacts phone number. So I'll come down here and we'll choose a, the business telephone number for the contact. I can also change the sort order. So I wanna bring contacts phone number up here above first name, click on next, and then click on save. To begin interacting with your Salesforce data, you wanna click on the name of the template, say yes, which indicates that you're gonna to wanna to clear out everything on the spreadsheet. And now your table is loaded, allowing you to work with your existing Salesforce data by using the download functions, or you can use update to create new records. We've got lots of tutorials and demos on that that you could take a look at. Now that the table's loaded, let's just take a look and see what's happening behind the scenes. All the field names in row two are freely editable. So if you wanna change account description to just description, go ahead and change it. There'll be no impact to the functionality. Now take a look at row one, and you can see here the Salesforce field IDs. So account name, account description. We've hidden these in a white font so that ordinary end users won't be confused. But power users could certainly come in and change these field names if they wanted to associate them with a different Salesforce field name, as opposed to going back into the template and editing it. So that's it for templates. If you have any questions, just ask us. Thanks for watching.